What's up, traders? Going three for three today. Gonna jump right into it. As always, first trade being on GOSS. This one was pretty much right at the bell. Um, decent little pop up through 10. Uh, went up to 1045. We got short of 1035, 100 shares. And uh, we scaled out of these. I believe we tried to get all these out at 1007. We we're actually on the bid. If you go watch this live over on Twitch, we we're on the bid three separate times at 1007 and didn't get a fill just for 100 shares. It was a little frustrating. Uh, so it started to go back up. We took 50 of them off at 1011. Um, it did try to go a little bit higher and then it did come back down, gave us that 10 test. And I was hoping for a bigger flush down to 10. Um, it tried, it only got the 996, started to come back up. So we took the rest off at 1001. And as you can see, it did end up going higher. So pretty good trade there on GOSS. Our second trade was two at the same time. Uh, we took UAL and AAL. Um, so the airline started to move a little bit. If we scroll out, you can see the high of day from yesterday, 38.17. That's what this teal line is. And we got a nice little move up through there. Uh, went up through the half dollar, um, went up to 72. We ended up getting filled at 67 uh, when we felt the top. You know, I love looking for that 20 cents through a key area, which is the half dollar whole dollar. End up getting filled there at 67 on the way back down. And I uh, got filled for those shares at 52. Went a little bit smaller on these just because they're the airlines, bigger companies. Um, they're moving at the same time. So I figured there was some kind of news and I uh, just didn't want to get caught in something. AAL, you can see it was kind of the same thing. We got in at the same time. I literally went from UAL right over to AAL and went and entered into the position. Took about the same size on both um, considering the range. Uh, took 100 shares on this one, got in at 81, out at 65, and uh, we made pretty much the same amount on both. Um, and that was it. A uh, quick little 60 bucks in the morning, and then really nothing else that happened. I, I believe the one that I missed today, which is when I kind of stopped trading, was BABA uh, because it was a long, but man, it was a really nice one. I've, I had my mind focused on this hundred dollar area. I knew it was such a key area. I was like, well, if it comes down and tests that, maybe even pops through, I'm going to start it there. Um, but it never got there. Uh, but it was so clear. And if you go watch the live stream, you'll see me like saying, oh, I know I should take it here. It feels like it's stopping. It's probably going to, you know, bounce here, blah, blah, blah. And sure enough, it did. Um, so I, I need to start trusting my instincts a little bit better because man, uh, if you just flip this chart, which I wish I could on DOS, but you could see if this was high of day, it came down, made a possible previous resistance here, and then just had this huge extension you know darn right well if this was facing the other way, I'm going to be playing the short. And so in my head, there's really no reason I shouldn't have been playing this the exact same way just to the long side. Um, but for some reason, I don't know, I wasn't necessarily in the mood. It was around lunchtime. I was getting ready to go make lunch. And then once I didn't take this and it, it worked just as I would have assumed it was going to work, um, I decided to go ahead and go to lunch and obviously I uh, went bowling and all that good stuff. And I just got back, which is why the video is actually a little bit late today. So that's all I got. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Always appreciate the support. If you do have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those down below or over in Discord. You can find me on Twitter as well. And you can also ask me live over on Twitch tomorrow morning. I'm live there every morning and I will see you then. Peace.